Hi there guys, so now we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how, on how to use this uh, mouse hover effect in Visual Composer. So the first thing that we need to do is we're back over here at our uh, install demo. So if I click on here, so now we've, we've, we've used the post type, but now we want to actually edit this page. So we click here. Now I'm going to open this in a new tab, open that in a new window, in a new tab. So I've got the home page here. And I've got the actual WordPress editor in the other tab. So we can see this here. So this is Visual Composer. And this gives us all the rows that we need to use and edit if we want to edit this uh, demo data. So the row that we want to edit is, is, is your first agency idea. So if we go here, so you can see here, this is this row. Now the content is within this row. And I'll just explain, there'll be other video tutorials on how to create this from, from the ground up. But I'm showing you here how to edit the content that we've already installed in this demo. Um, so the first thing that we need to do if we want to add our own images to this hover effect here is click on the edit icon for that row. So if we click on edit this row, and then we've got some extra tabs up here that we've created within Visual Composer. And this one that we want to edit here is called the lax effect. So we've got lax here. So you've got lax layer one. Now if I, so obviously we've got the placeholder image in here. So if I click on that and then we click on uh, the add image again. Again, I've got the images here. So sorry, I just want to close that window and I just want to have a look. So this is left bottom. So this is going to um, add the image to, to the left bottom. Now, if I'm using the um, the demo to see what that is, it's going to be the Apple Watch down here. So if I go back to the demo here and the left bottom, so I want to add the Apple Watch as my image. So I've got that here. So I'm going to click on that. And then if we set that image, and then if we just save that now, and then if we update the page, and then I just want to uh, have a look at that in the front end and see if it, it has edited the uh, the Apple Watch image. So just wait for that to load. So if we scroll down here, Oh, so I've loaded the wrong image there, so it's not the Apple Watch, my mistake, but it's a good example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that image there. So I've got the image here, so what I'm going to do is back at our demo, so we can see that I've got the wrong image in there. So I'm going to go back to the back end. I'm going to edit the icon here. And then we're going to go to the Lax tab. And we're going to remove that image and then add a new one. And we're going to load in the iPhone and we'll set that image and we'll save that and then we shall update that page so then if we go back to the front end and we reload that page now so you'll see there we've got the iPhone in position there now I'll show you how to edit those positions as well so the next image I'm going to do is this one up here and the reason I can find out which image that is is that's in the top left. So if I go here, and I'm going to edit that row again, go to the likes tab. Now what I want to do is, so we've got different layer options. So we've got layer one, layer two, layer three. So I just need to find the one that's, that's, that's currently set to top left. So if I keep looking down here, right bottom, left bottom, left top so here we are layer five layer five is the image that i want to change so if i click on that then i'm going to add the image that i want and then we've got ipad top left which is my image drag that on and i'm going to set that image and then if we save that again i'm going to update that and then back to the front end and then if we hit the refresh button, we'll get the iPad image up in this top left corner. So you can see there we've got the image. What I'll do now is, as well is I'll just show you how to get the background image on that row. So I'll just go and get the image. So I've got the image here as my file. So what I'm going to do is go back in here into Visual Composer and we want to edit the row. So again, I click on edit the row. And this time we go to design options. Now your background images for your rows are always added in the design options panel. So we delete the missing link. And then if we, uh, 
if we click the add image icon if we click on that then the image is uploaded so just set that image save that and then update that and we can then go back to the front end if we refresh the page again so if we scroll down here you can see the background images on there so the last image that i'll add on there just to show you is the is the apple watch so if i go back over here and then we click on to edit the row click on the lax tab and then we're going to go down here so left bottom right middle right bottom left bottom so that's the layer four yep so layer four is the one that i want here because i know it's left bottom again so i'm going to remove that click on that and then we'll choose the apple watch which i've already got on there so then if we save that and then update that that will then add the apple watch to the to the home page what I'll, once this is updated and i've shown you this what i'll do is i'll just show you how you move these images around on the on the row so that you can get your images in in specific positions so you can see there i've added these images so obviously for these ones here you just repeat them or if you wanted to you could add um new ones or delete ones off there so what i'm going to do now is if, so we've got the apple watch which is down here is a good example to use so you've got your row in here so if i now click on the lax tab and then we scroll down to layer four which was the apple watch so you can see here the width of the image so you've got the width and the height of your image which you need to put in there and then we've got the position that we want to start from so where do we want to start the position of this if i set this to zero zero sorry just put the uh, px on there for pixels and we save that and then we update that just make sure that updates so then what we'll do when i refresh this page is just watch the position of this apple watch down here so if i scroll down here you'll see the apple watch has positioned itself to the left bottom at position zero zero so we work from here on in now so we can see, decide how high we want it and how far in we want it so if i go back to the lax tab on the row that we're editing and then down to the layer four so we're going to say right we'll, we'll, we'll move it a bit further across this time we'll say 400 pixels across and we'll say 60 pixels up so if we save that and you can use negative values in there as well so if we click loading uh, click update sorry and then if we go back to the uh, home page and we'll see the position of the apple watch we'll start over here now So if we scroll down you can see the apple watch starting position is there so that just gives you control over the different images on the layer for the mouse over parallax effect so the next video tutorial that i'm going to show you guys is let's just take a look at the uh the home page so this this row here is exactly the same as the one we've just shown you so you've got your background image on there and then you've got the the line art as uh, the lax effect images so then the next thing we'll do is I'll show you how to add a portfolio item. So um, see you in the next tutorial.